Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Today I wanted to go over something that's been a long topic of conversation. A lot of people get their graphics, uh, Etsy, eBay, Amazon. These prices are typically cheaper, um, and you don't know what you're getting unless you really know what you're looking for. So we did a random draw on, and I don't remember if they were Amazon, Etsy, or what is that, eBay. We also had a sampling of what we offer. And we're going to open up one by one, kind of go through them, and talk about those differences and then talk about what to look for, and then show you what it looks like on the vehicle. This is not intended to, to slam anybody, and we've marked out where those came from, so we're not gonna talk about that. But again, more of just a buyer awareness. Um, and if you have, ever have any questions, we're always happy to talk to you about what to look for, you know, what to ask if you want to price shop. We've always been about that commitment to quality and service, so we wanna make sure you're getting the best you can. So let's start with our tailgate piece down here on the end. We'll walk around to the our Jeep Gladiator and kind of go over that. This is the one that we ordered on one of those retailer sites. And right behind here is our version of that. Let's see how this, and we did open this up so we knew what to look at, but I want to show you that packaging. Ours is not packaged, but I, one thing I, I did want to note was the size of this tube. Most of those graphics that we sell need to be not as tightly wound. Um, again, not a huge deal. This is actually packaged very well. They put this in a bag within that, so if this gets wet, it's not, or if that, that gets wet, it's not gonna damage the film. We do that as well. And again, I did go back and pull, so I knew exactly what we were showing piece to piece. Let me make sure there's no name in here. Hold on. There it is, so I'm just gonna cover that up. And there's some instructions on there. Uh, this is going to be a wet install, I can tell by the material. So I'm gonna put this away, roll this out. And again, this is that Gladiator tailgate install. And so again, I know this is wet because the backing paper is not ridged. If it's air release or if it's a wrap film, this is gonna be ridged. We're gonna feel those and see those adhesive um, bubbles on, the back, on this, this backing paper. This is definitely a smooth install. I do think this is good vinyl. It doesn't feel like it's not showing 651, so I'm not sure if this is calendared or not, but that's our other concern when buying stuff online is that you're getting a calendared film instead of a cast film. I mean, you definitely want a cast film. Wet is fine as long as it's cast. Um, wet is just a lot more difficult to install. So as you can see here, there's a cutout there for that camera. And then we've got no transfer paper on this. So again, with the wet install, you don't have to have it, but it's nice to have. So if you're squeegeeing on top of that material, you're not gonna scratch that material. And again, these are the, the tail light pieces. And let me show you, let's see if I can get some scissors here. I'm just gonna use something here to lay these out. Now this one I am not gonna to install today. We've had ours on our Gladiator for, I think almost two years now but I did want to show you. And then we saw that, that piece there again for that camera. I believe this is gonna be this tail light here. And this would be our tail light. This would be driver, this would be passenger side. So it looks like this is gonna go around your factory tail light. There's gonna be seam there in the middle. Again, no mask, these are masked. The mask that we use is a transfer right air mask. Um, our mask is conformable to curves. Um, and it does give kind of a milky look. It is semi-clear. And again, there's that showing that we're using that 3M wrap vinyl. We're also already trimmed and cut to shape. You can see the detail here where we know this is gonna be where it tucks into the, into the bed. And I can show you, let's go back and look at that tailgate. Let's see if we can explain some of that. Let's take one of these with us. Again, part of that package as well that we give out, this is our, the length of that tailgate. So again, 3M2080, leave this one with satin, but it's also offered in matte. There's your length, you're gonna have a little bit of overlap on that edge, it's masked and it's already cut to shape. You do that mask as a transfer paper so you don't scratch that vinyl as you're installing. It also helps that material be a little bit thicker and a little bit easier to handle. 
This is going to be the, I think it's a 6x6 six six square of that 3M wrap film that we're going to use to wrap the camera. All of our kits will come with a QR code which goes to our YouTube site. It's going to give you an installation video on 99% of our products. And again, there's a detailed video of how we wrap that camera, how that comes out of the tailgate. That's going to give you that finished look. Putting that hole in there, again, that just that means you can put that over there without taking out that camera. Not a big deal, but we do think, you know, we want you to have that, that finished look. We also provide a template to re replace those Jeep letters with. When you take the Jeep letters off, you're going to have two pinholes, two holes in that in that gate uh, that we've marked here so you, you have that alignment once your graphic is back on to put those back on. As we go look at our tailgate, again, ours has been modified. We've done aftermarket lights, we've done aftermarket badging, uh, but the kit, the piece is, is the same. If we take this tail light out, this overall shape of the yellow is what will, what, what will be the black here. We also offer a two color option, which will be, you know, be a, an outlined version. When that comes to you, that's also going to be pre-layered for you. You don't have to put a layer on top of a layer. It'll come already ready to go. And you can see there that fitment is going to, I mean, I have the light on there, so I can't, can't get flush up on that body. But this hole is for that hole where this, this light mounts into. When we take this out, we get in there, we're going to trim that out, get that full full exposure on there. Again, I'm sure this is going to be really close. A little concerned why that's so curved like that. Maybe that was to save space on the material, which is fine. Full coverage. There's our wrap on that camera. Again, we did not elect to go back to those Jeep letters, but we do offer that gladiator option. Um, if you want to go that route, that's additional. But again, that's a whole other story. That's that tailgate wrap. I want to show you what else we got. So again, going over all this, it doesn't mean there isn't a, a need for that. You know, if you want to start out, you're not looking to spend, I think our kit's $200. I'm not sure what that is offhand. And I'm not sure what I paid for that one either. But I do know that our prices are a little higher than what you, what you see on eBay and Etsy and Amazon. Let's move on to this next item that we got is, I think this is the Gladiator name. And this is, all right, so hood names. I looked up Gladiator hood names and I got that there. This is paper mask, nothing wrong with that, flat surface, will go down pretty easy. That is not cut to shape, I can see that this is this drops down, so that means I'm going to have to measure this. Uh, we also see that that is that 651 vinyl, that's an intermediate calendared vinyl. This is kind of your standard vinyl for everything that's a go-to, um, typically for like window stickers, short-term use. There is a, a use for it, but I don't believe it belongs on a vehicle. We're using on ours is that 3M 2080. And again, this is a wrap film. It's air release, goes on dry. Everything we cut is squared, centered in that border, and again, masked with air mask vinyl. So this will go down a lot easier. Uh, this is a standard two inch by 30 inch. That's what comes on the vehicle. Let's go take a look. And I will install these both on our Wranglers just to see what that looks like. But um, again, there's that two inch by 30 inch. We match that to that Rubicon sizing and there's that overlay. So we know that's gonna be, this actually is uh, a little bit taller, but we're very, very close. Nothing wrong with that, as long as you know what you're getting. Like I said, we'll go ahead and do a quick install on these. I'm going to want to trim this down. So I get a good measurement to get that straight. And I really just need that baseline. So I'm going to do that there. I'm also going to go ahead and mark, I believe it's three quarters of an inch, but we're just going to get, just for example's sake, we're going to use that as an inch. I would still, again, not my product. I do this, I've been doing this for 30 years. I'm gonna go ahead and do this dry. If you wanna do this wet, you can. And again, this is just a quick, a quick eyeball. So this really shouldn't be bad. If you use the water, it's going to be a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and 
will do. You also, if you use water, you don't want to get that backing paper wet. So I'm going to fold that over. Just a little bit of that soapy water mix. I'm going to use our provided squeegee. Match that back up. And again, this will probably be just fine. The, the benefits of that air release, I will show you here in just a minute. And that slip solution that you're seeing me use is ours. That's our PPF um, wet install slide mix that we've made. It's basically just soap and water pre-mix. So now that you've installed that wet, we're going to have to be very careful taking this off. Typically you're going to want to wait a little bit to take this off. I should have left those pieces because I'm going to do this install again. So you want to make sure that's on there. And again, be careful not to get this too hard on that paint. It will leave light scratch, light surface scratches. So, you know, again, we offer a felt tip for that if you want to wrap your squeegee. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and wet that top layer. So not bad. No bubbles. Go real light with that. Not too bad. So that's a perfect install on that. Take that as a visual. We're going to pull that right back off and show you how easy ours is to put on and what ours looks like. So just noticing before I pull this off, the attention to detail. Not sure where these letters came from, but some of these letters aren't even smoothed out. The spacing in between them. Here's the I that should be centered in between here. Everything just looks a little bit off. The T is not as tall as the A. It's, it's kind of a mess. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull this one off. And typically with calendared film, um, you know, it, it is short term. This outside in the sun is going to heat. It's going to, or it's going to get hot. It's going to shrink. And that adhesive is going to be a nightmare to get off when it's time to take that off. So we just put this on, I mean, two minutes ago. Again, sorry we're not putting the Gladiator on the Gladiator, but I'm not yet ready yet to redo the graphics on the Gladiator. So we're using our Wrangler as our demo today. Ready to do our next one. Gonna clean that again with that alcohol water mix. So it's nice and dry. Tape. I'm gonna hit that in the same spot. And again, I think this hood is also the 392 hood, so it is a little taller than your standard hood, but again, our measurement from a Rubicon J.I. Wrangler is three quarter inches to the bottom of those letters. This is gonna look a little more centered because the hood is taller on these. And actually, again, that wrap film 2080 with the air mask vinyl. This is already cut to an even square. It's gonna show a little bit taller again because I'm going up a little bit higher, but you do want to measure that out where you want. We can even sit that on the letter so we'll be right at an inch. I'm going to pull this off one piece. Literally slap it right on there. There's my L. There's my O. And no water, no mess. That is the beauty of wrap film. So with wrap film, you have those air channels inside. You could literally slap that on and then work that out. If there is anything in there, that'll come right out. So that was a very quick install. You may want to go back and post heat it just to make sure you don't have any of those air bubbles in there. I see it there, so we just lay it, let that off, let that hang back down. It had I squeegeed a little harder and just try to show off real quick, those wouldn't be there. But as you see that, you let that cool, and basically, if 
if you heat up that calendar film too much, you will melt it. This will take over 200 degrees. We do it all the time to post heat with wraps. This will not shrink. And this is a mat, so you'd probably get about uh, one and a half, two to three years, depending on what area you're in and how well it's maintained. On a, on a horizontal surface, which is going to be your hood, roof, trunk, top, it's li a little less. On your vertical surfaces, you're getting less sun. This is going to last a lot longer. So, if you saw we're right on there, now you can see that full 28 inches we have on that, on that width to match the factory graphics. All the letters are even, spacing is even. That's what we do on that. We want to make sure that's all right. That is our Rubicon style font, so it looks very, very OEM. We're going to go next. We're going to move to our third item, which is going to be our fender vent inlay. All right, so now we're back. We're going to do that last piece. Our third piece is going to be that vent inlay that is so very popular for the JL, JLU, JT. Uh, they started doing this, I think, in 2018, and it ran. It's still currently running. So, um, again, next item. This is exactly how this came. We just opened these up. I just wanted to confirm what it was, so I made sure I had one to show you. Our wet application instructions. Install the larger decal first, outline color, then the smaller one centered over the larger decal. I hate to see that. It makes the installation a lot more difficult, especially for the first time do-it-yourselfer, if you're going to do this. What that means is you're going to get two pieces, and we're going to be doing our driver's side. So it'll be these two pieces here, and you're going to get a red, and you're going to get a black. One thing I do like is that these are masked, and they are trimmed pretty much to edge. So good job on that. But if we overlay these, it looks like right about there, that's where that's going to be. I'm going to show you something. And I've seen this before because we've done this many times. We get a lot of people that come in and say, I've got my graphics off of eBay. Can you install it? Yes, we can. But we don't. if there's an issue with it, we don't want to have our name attached to it. And when it fails, we also don't want to have our name attached to it. This is ours. Again, going back in the back side of this, there's that Orcal 651 Intermediate Cal. So again, this is a short-term vinyl. Probably give you, I don't know, a year, if so, before you started having that edge shrink up with the heat and then seeing that glue along the edge made this color a little bit faster. And again, that also means wet install. It means you got to do this twice as well. So this is our Avery film. We did that because we're using that Mojave orange on that. Um, so Avery Denison, I think that's our Supreme Wrap 900, SW900. Um, also a premium wrap film. So same thing, just like the 3M, our high-end wrap film. That, set, that matte black is our 3M, and it's already been you know, pre-layered for you. So we've taken that hard work out for you. We have the black already on top of that orange and trimmed just a little bit tighter to shape. What I want to show you is this. So if we use our marks, and you, what you're trying to follow in this outside edge, I'm sure, is close to the same. It's a little bit, little bit off, but if you turn around here on the Jeep, and see that body line, that body line crease. We love this area because it's an OEM line. On the Rubicon high fenders, that line disappears behind the fender. On a Sport with a standard fender, you will see this all the way down the body. So we actually have a stripe for that as well, which continues that stripe all the way down. It's a little trickier to install, but for in this case, most people do go with those standard high fender graphics. So, we're just going to show you real quick and then we'll install it what this looks like. If we come back to that body line back here and follow that line up at the top, which is right there, what we're getting is a lot of white showing here. We're not even getting into the end of that where that, where that, that fender stops. We're also cut a little bit short behind that fender. If we come back with ours, we come back to that same body line, we're going to go right over that just enough, we're going to have to, you know, it's a little tight to get in there, but we do that all the time. We can pull that back a little bit if you want. We're going to get what we call full coverage with that. There is a big difference in that. I'm going to go ahead and install our ordered piece, and then we'll install our piece and show you the difference. So as we're getting ready to do this, if we're going to do a wet install with transfer paper, especially this plastic transfer paper, I love this because it's super clear. 
gives you a great lineup, but it also means it's going to be hard to pull off once, once that's on there. So again, just as a demonstration sake, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off because we are doing a wet install. If this was going to be wet, I would have wished they had done paper. That way we can soften that adhesive on that and get that off a lot easier. So real quick, and I forgot our red goes first. Let me go ahead and pull that off on this one too. Now if I did this dry, I'd want that mask on there. But doing this wet, it's going to take forever. It's going to be a tough time getting that mask off. And again, this I'm really showing this just for fitment, more so difficulty of installation. But this is not an easy wet. I just, like I said, there's a time and a place for wet. When air release vinyl came out back in uh, late 2000, I think it was 2008, somewhere around there. Um, when we switched over to that, started doing wraps. It was a, it's a game changer. I mean, it, the air release vinyl changed the whole, whole way of doing vinyl or doing installs. Um, and yes, it is more expensive, but uh, for that price, you're getting uh, much better products. So I've already wet that down. I'm gonna pull this back, wet that, slide that into place. Make sure I don't get that too dirty. Let me get my squeegee real quick. And again, I'm going to come back up to that body line. Now the good thing about wet, again, is you can slide that where you want it. I'm going to go real light with this. But I also wish I had the felt tip on this. And I've got my own felt tip squeegees, but again, this is just demo. And typically you really do want to wait a little bit to put that second layer on there. There's a lot of moisture still under there. I know this towel would just grab that corner. And you want that to really bond for a little while before you put that second layer on there. But again, we're just doing this as a demonstration. Let's go ahead and wet that area again. Go we'll hit that black right on top of that. All right, so we've been fighting this for, I don't know, a minute now. And again, we want if we're trying to get full coverage over that red, and I'm bringing that down over that red, I'm, I'm, I'm short here. You know, it's, it's laying in there and I'm showing it here. So if I come back up, a little bit higher. Hopefully getting an even pinstripe. I'm fat here, thin here. I'm not sure what the hell's going on here. So we're gonna split the difference. I think you may have just done it like this. And has a red border around the entire thing, which may explain not going into that vent. Let's try that. There we go. Well, first time I've seen that. I would want that red to be disappeared here, run that black in there, and just follow that outside body line. This is just a different design than I've ever seen. But let's go ahead and finish that up. I'll grab a still pick of that. So several things I'm seeing here that I want to point out. If that's a style you like, great. More power to you. Enjoy it. It's, everyone's got their own opinions and stuff. Um, we really want to see that vent come all the way forward, come behind that fender, to the fender here, and then get as close if we can or even tuck behind this vent. Again, there's a time. I mean, there's nothing wrong with showing that white. We just think it looks better the other way. So feel that vent's a little bit short. Again, uh, whoever designed that, it's a pretty good fitment. Um, just different design than what we're used to doing. Let's go ahead and pull that off. And I do, I didn't used to always do this, but it does make this a little bit easier. If you want to wrap, just 
put a little bit of masking tape because we are going to get right to right. You want to get, I'm going to try to get right up behind that vent, especially since this is a white Jeep. I don't want to see that white. So it's just something on there so that vinyl doesn't tack to that plastic. We can get it off that masking tape a lot easier. Again, a wrap film already pre layered for you. Follow that body line, get behind that fender, go ahead and tack. And that's where we want to get behind that fender. Right there in the corners where I want to use a little bit of heat to tuck in that little corner right there. You need to be sure to go back and again just warm that up. Make sure you got everything down good. Now none of this is really under a lot of stress, so we don't have to hit 180 degrees or that post heat temp. But just getting that warm, you're going to see if there's any any spots you didn't you didn't get to adhere properly. But what I want you to look on that up close is, but you don't see any white. And we are getting a full, again, like I said, full full coverage in there. We stand back, we see that pinstripe continue behind the fender, not stopping short. And you're not getting any whiter on that vent. Um, but again, not here to badmouth and Willis's company. I just want to show you what's different um, and what to look for with the wet install versus a dry install, a cast film versus a calendar film, having it masked, having it cut to trim. Any of these questions, feel free to call us. Again, we'd love the business, but we also want to make sure that you're getting the right product for your vehicle. You know, of course, we specialize in Jeep and Bronco. But we do so much more. That's just our passions are right right now are heavy in the Jeep and Bronco market. Great, great vehicles, great people. Also wanted to make sure you guys knew whether you buy from us, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, there are great companies out there. There's a lot of competitors that we work with, are friends with. There is good stuff out there. More people than just me do wrap film. So make sure you know what you're looking for. You know, we want to make sure you know, ask them what type of vinyl they're using, ask them if there's a warranty on it. Typically, if it's, if it's a self-install, it's hard to give a warranty. Anything made custom, it's hard to give a refund on because it may not be what the next person wants. So most companies, including ours, it's going to be hard to get a refund on. Now, there are specific instances where we do allow it, but it's case by case. As far as installs on do-it-yourself, we're one of the few companies that offer IPC. So anything that we make here and we send, and we send out to you is going to come with IPC, which means if you mess up a piece on that installation, Document it, let us know what happened. We'll ship you out a new one as long as you pay the shipping on it. Shipping can be expensive, especially with how we ship in those tubes and make sure everything's coming to you without any damage to that. Don't forget on your installs, if you have any questions, be sure to check out that Underground Graphics YouTube page. There's a QR code that's gonna come with this flyer in each of our kits. If you're worried about the install, we have a 3M certified installers QR code. Scan that and you put in your zip code, it'll give you a 3M certified installer in your area. And then hopefully when you're happy with that product, be sure to leave us a Google review. Um, again, installations on these kits, wet, dry, eBay, Etsy, underground, a professional. 
They're all gonna have different ways of doing it. They're all gonna be different types of vinyl. Make sure you know what you want. Make sure you know what you're getting. So again, going back to Amazon, Etsy, eBay, there is good stuff out there. And I'm not trying to say it's a bad place to shop. Just, you know, buyer, be aware. You know, make sure you know what you're getting. Uh, feel free to call us if you have any questions on that. We're happy to talk to you about it. Just go from there. Good luck. Happy vinyl graphic hunting and uh, see you next time.